morning everyone um so today i posted one video yesterday which has been a little bit delayed from coming up and um, i have another one for you today which is nice um i have um my oh, excuse me kennedy 24 trickster in brass which is very 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 nice very pleased with this let's have a quick vape and then we can talk about it so i got this uh, delivered the other day having a bit of a play with it seeing what i think of it you know obviously putting it through its paces before i put a review up but um <clears throat> really it seemed to have all of the things that I want out of um, an RDA. So the um, Kennedy twenty, excuse me, Kennedy twenty four Trickster is this one's obviously in brass. It's got a I'm not sure if it's picking it up very well in this light, but it's got a stainless steel chuff cap on there as well. Um, and I've got this on the Therian at 70 watts with a 0.2 ohm coil um, and it's given me a really quite a fabulous vape um, although I've over dripped ever so slightly and we've got a bit of mess but yeah really nice really nice vape I'm conscious that I want to um, just vape this dry quickly just to show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, I've had this going now for um, this this wicking, this coil for, for about 24 hours and it's just holding up absolutely fantastically. You can almost vape this cotton dry in this particular RDA which I think is fantastic. But yeah, enough of that. Let's... Um, have a look at some of the close-ups and uh, take them there. Cool. Okay, so hopefully this is going to stay in focus. But here it is, the Kennedy Trickster um, 24 in brass with the um, stainless chuff cap. Um, chuff cap comes out like so gonna focus up yep cool um, and what we have is we have what is actually a really cool idea from from Kennedy now although it's not that new <laughs> it's adjustable airflow in one of their devices come on now it's because this camera is wobbling around a little bit let's take it off first let's take it apart and then we can show you what we've got okay so here is the top cap there we go and as you can see it's got cutouts at the bottom for single and dual airflow which is new for Kennedy to be able to do adjustable airflow what you have is then you've got your deck section which is their two post deck now as you can see I've got some uh, just some dual fuse claptons in there you've got copper posts with grub screws and then you've got if you can see down the sides I'm not going to take this build out but you've got the tubes as per all Kennedy's that come up and hit the coils through these holes here and then you've got your Kennedy 24 your serial number and your copper um, 510 connection your copper pin you can also change out the base I believe so you can use that um, Allen key there to uh, to change out the base and it all goes together really really nicely come on stop stop dicking about anyway um, so you can actually adjust your airflow as you so wish so you can ma make it 
full open as per an original normal Kennedy. But you can, if you twist this, and I can't do it without it being on a mod, but you can twist it so that you can actually close off your airflow a little bit, which is actually, it's a really nice touch. It's something which, you know, obviously in, in a world of, of loads and loads of choice, it's really nice to be able to have a device where, a device where you can actually change your airflow options as and when you want rather than just keeping the airflow which the manufacturer intended now kennedy has done it really well in the past and they've been able to um, give you really good airflow straight out of the box but it's just nice sorry sorry but it's just nice to be able to have that adjustable airflow what i found is that with this you can just drip straight through the middle and you don't really get any leaking um, I have had problems with Kennedy's in the past or Kennedy style uh, drippers in the past where you know you can drip in the middle like the tsunami for example and it just pisses out the sides but actually with this you can just drip it in the middle the deep the juice well is deep enough to fit um, and it means that then you can actually just drip it into the middle and the coils all wick it all up and it works a treat but yeah there we go that is it that is the Kennedy 24 trickster Maybe in focus, come on. Ah, I think it's over. <laughs> um, there we go, it's it's playing sometimes. Unfortunately, this camera's got a little bit tricky with its its focus, but yeah, no, well, never mind. Let, let's get back up and let's talk about it. Okay, so that was up close with the um, Kennedy 24 Trickster. Um, I've got it on Ethereum at the moment, um, but to be honest, it looks absolutely beautiful on my brass Able. Um, so a little bit more matchy-matchy, which is really cool. Lovely airflow, even wide open, the airflow is absolutely fantastic. But... I quite like to just close it off just sort of halfway and actually what you get out of that is more of a restricted lung hit but a really nice one um, I found that with this particular build and this particular device it, it actually it works really nice at a higher wattage so I would normally, I typically run a build like this on a regulator, probably about 55 watts, something like that. But this one, it's got so much space for air and so much space for, you know, all of your vapor to collect. Now actually, 70 watts is no, no great shakes. Hmm. They are quite pricey bits of kit, um, <clears throat> but I do think they're worth it. The machine quality is wonderful. It's really, really nicely made. Um, the uh, the price, I got this one um, second hand. Where they go for about 70 quid new, um, but this one is in perfect condition, all very nice. Um, <coughs> And yeah, it's just all around a really good looking dripper. I will spend some more time with it and I will talk about it in a vlog, I think, and tell you how I feel it holds up. But yeah, I think um, generally a really, really nice mod. I'm so sorry. A really, really nice dripper, really nicely created. It's got a lovely sort of top cap it fits on beautifully when I first got it it was all very clean and very nice obviously being washed um, and actually the o-rings were really quite stiff but as soon as you put a bit of juice on there and lubricate it it works absolutely fine I don't know what's going on I seem to be getting a lot of text today um, <clears throat> but yeah cool that's uh, that's what I've got um, if you have any other comments and thoughts on it, please do let me know. Um, I'm going to get myself a Kennedy 24 without the um, trick cap. 
um, without the adjustable airflow, just to as a bit of a comparison. I'm going to get that in copper, I think, to go on my my new Rogue mod, which is coming. Um, but yeah, cool. Thank you very much, and I will speak to you again soon. Cheers.